You are looking for some professional profile photos but don't have the budget? I reviewed all the best AI headshot generators so you don't have to. So firstly, in order to train these tools, you'll need 20 to 30 photos of yourself. Just you in the images, close and medium shots, a variety, of a variety of angles and poses, and outputs and backgrounds. I just went to Google Images and searched my name for shots of me and then exported a new album to download. I'd also recommend doing a photo shoot around the house to get some of the best shots. So first up, back in November, the Lens app was very popular. For $7, you could get a set of 50 different images to choose from. I wasn't overly impressed with the output, but if you were looking for some very stylized options, it is worth a try. Next up, I tried installing Stable Diffusion locally and training it with my own images. This is time consuming. It requires a powerful graphics card unless you're going to use an online service like Run Diffusion, which I do recommend if you go that direction. The outputs were OK as a starting point, and they do get much better with tweaking and training. So this is the route to take if you're really into generative art. But if you just want some quick headshots, it's a pass. I then tried Mid Journey, which offers the best generative art available today. However, there is no way to train the model with your own images. You can give it some example images, but I've never found the generative art to be representative of my face. So for avatars, for now, this is a pass. Next up, Headshot Pro, a paid generator that you can use via a web app. This one is about $29, but to be honest, in terms of speed and effort, it had some really great outputs. However, I would like to have seen more smiling images, and I find these to be a bit too Calvin Klein model broody for my own liking. I did train the model with some smiling photos, but obviously not enough. My final recommendation and the top of the pack in terms of speed, convenience and output was Photo AI. It costs $29 a month for 1000 images, so you can just fire it up for a month, take all the shots you need and turn it off again. You can train this on 20 images and get some really good outputs. What's great about Photo AI is you can use prompts and examples to generate the type of style you want. It gives you a lot more control. You can even copycat other images. And so here's a shot of me at the beach. And of course, that's what I look like under my t-shirt, I swear. So in conclusion, Photo AI is best for price and speed. But if you're really into this space, I recommend researching Stable Diffusion for maximum control of your generated images. I'm enjoying making these videos. If you'd like to learn more about AI tools like this, follow for more.